Hi everyone, my name is Geraldine Mande. I am very happy to be Miss Democratic Republic of the Congo. Uh, this is such a great opportunity to be representing my country. As many of you know, my country is one of the countries in Africa that has gone through a lot of things. Um, from civil wars to being attacked to a lot of things and this has left way too many people dead. Uh, in 2004, my family decided to leave the Congo for the, uh, for the United States. And we arrived here, it was a cold winter. I remember it was February 1st. And I just asked myself, how am I gonna do this? Not even speaking a word of English. I just felt lost, lost right away. Uh, after several months, I started feeling like being in this country would provide me with more and more opportunities. And going to school, making friends, I felt very comfortable being here, but still, I didn't know what would happen in the future. Uh, I met so many people who motivated me, and then I ended up going to Brandeis University where I graduated with a dual degree in African and Afro-American studies and international global studies. It wasn't until I got to Brandeis that I started realizing a big of a problem that we have in the Congo. I went to Brandeis at first because I wanted to major in women's and gender studies. And then when I started taking a lot of classes, I just realized it wasn't something that I wanted to do. Uh, so I dropped the subject altogether. Uh, I knew what was going on in the Congo, but I kind of wanted to push it on the side because I didn't want to just focus on that. I didn't want it to be something that I should care about. I wanted to move on and be American and just feel comfortable here. And so um, I started studying international global studies and focusing on that in African and Afro-American studies. Still, I had to do a research for one of my classes. I came um, across this article that was talking about raped women in the Congo. And I was like, well, why is this following me, following me everywhere? I'm trying to run away from this, and here we go again, uh, talking about women raped in the Congo. So I picked up that article, and I was reading about it. It was so hard to swallow what I was, uh, I was reading. It was just way too many numbers of women who have been raped in the Congo. And the crazy thing about it, almost no one knows about it, or almost no one is talking about it. And the war in the Congo since 1998 has claimed over 5.4 million deaths. Um, that number itself combined, you, you find all the wars out there in the world, it's just a big of a number. And it's a big of a number of dead women and children. And these are the people who give birth. Uh, and the children are the future. So if we're losing women, we're losing children, that's a problem. And that's why I took that to heart and decided to go to the Congo and see what I can do. So in 2010, I traveled to the Congo. I fully funded my own trip. And then I met with so many different people there uh, from old to five, three years, three years old women that had been raped. Um, you have older women up to 85 years old. You have young uh, girls um, to three years old. I heard some have been raped at five months, eight months. That's one thing that I just cannot understand. It kills me. Um, and then I went to visit very many different um, organizations and charities. Another one that I went to, there were uh, men and women who don't know how to read and write. And these women are from the camps. Their parents used to be in the army, and so they just never went to school. Their whole life, they've known nothing but war. So uh, the result of it is that many of, of them ended up on the streets, not knowing how to read and write. So this organization helps them. And I was there, and I was very happy to participate and help them uh, how to spell A, B, C, D, and help them with their alphabet. That's something that made me very happy in 2010. And I came back in the US, and I felt very empowered. And I told myself that I have to do something to help women and girls because women are the ones that will ensure the future of the Congo because they're the ones that would carry the children and so on. So I came back here, I tried my best, it was very hard. 
uh, to try to get Congolese people together because it's such a hard subject to um, talk about and not to talk about, um, it's also a very a taboo subject to talk about. Not so many people like talking about rape, not so many people like talking about um, prostitution and that all those things I saw in the Congo. I was just looking online how I can get funded, what I can do, and I came across this link about Miss Africa USA, and I told myself that I should enter, and it was such a great idea, and I joined Miss Africa USA because it's unlike any other pageant out there. It's a, it's a pageant that you should have a platform, and you should care uh, to do something, to give back to the community, to help people, and I joined it, and the it's been just great from the prelim preliminary round to semi-final. I met so many incredible women and the organizers are just amazing. And um, that's why I joined it because it's different and because I want to make a difference as a Congolese woman living in the USA and with all the opportunities that have been given to me, I want to be a blessing to other people. So please vote for me, Geraldine Monday. You can go vote at the Miss Africa USA pageant website, or you can also visit my website, moissimoissi.com, to learn more about this pageant, to donate, or to be a part of this, or to invite me to your event to talk. So please vote for Geraldine Monday, and thank you for watching.